Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. For these challenges, you will need a small ball or a sock ball. You will also need items that you can use as a target. Things like a piece of paper that you hang on the wall, a stuffed animal, a bucket or a basket turned upside down, or a plastic cup. Make sure that you're keeping track of your score and be honest. Hammer time will happen in between each round. During this time, you will have to hammer out as many exercises as you can in a very short amount of time. How to throw the ball overhand. Hold the ball by making a C with your hand. Make a T with your body so that your opposite shoulder is facing your target. Make an L with your throwing arm. Step with your opposite foot and rotate your hip towards the target. Extend your arm and follow through to your target. Let's take a few minutes and practice your form. Remember, make a C, make a T, make an L, step, throw, and follow through. Throwing at a target on a wall, round one. For this first challenge, you will need a small ball and a target on a wall. Take 10 steps away from the wall. Use the cues of overhand throwing to make sure that you are throwing the ball correctly. Count how many times you can hit the target on the wall. Are you ready? Let's get started. How many times did you hit the target? <laughs> it's hammer time. Get ready to exercise. Remember, do as many as you can. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Touch this. Can't touch this. My, 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 my this. music hits me so hard. Makes me say, oh my Lord, thank you for blessing me. What am I doing? Throwing at a target on the wall, round two. So let's try this challenge again and see if you can beat your first score. Remember, stand 10 steps away from the wall, 
use the cues of overhand throwing to make sure that you are throwing the ball correctly and count how many times you can hit that target on the wall. Good luck. Here we go. Round two is finished. Were you able to beat your first score? Yeah! It's hammer time. Let's go. It's standing ab crunches. It's such, and this is uh, you can't touch. I told you, homeboy, you can't touch this. Yeah, that's how we living and you know can't touch this. Look at my eyes, man. You can't touch this. You know, let me bust the funky lyrics. Touch this. Fresh new kills and bands. You got it like that. Now you know you want to dance. So move out of your seat and get a five girl and catch this beat while it's rolling. Hold on. Pump a little bit and let the noise go on like that. Like that. Hold on a minute. Throwing at a target on the wall. Round three. We're going to do this challenge one more time, but let's make it really challenging this time. Instead of standing 10 steps away from the wall, I want you to stand 15 to 20 steps away. You will have to move quickly to get the ball. Count how many times you were able to hit the target on the wall. Good luck. Here we go. End of round three. How did you do? Was it harder to hit the target from a longer distance? Yeah! It's hammer time. We're gonna do inchworms this round. Can't touch. Yo, I told you, you can't touch this. Why you standing there, man? You can't touch this. Yo, sound the bell, school is in, sucker. You can't touch this. Give me a song, a rhythm, making them sweat. That's what I'm giving them now. They know, you talk about the hammer, you're talking about a show that's hot and tight. Singles are sweating so fast, them a white or tape. To learn what's it gonna take in the nice new For our next set of challenges, we are going to be hitting a smaller target. Set up your stuffed animal or your cup on a chair or table and get ready. Keep track of your score and be honest. And don't forget to hammer out as many exercises as you can. 
Throwing at a smaller target. Round one. Place your stuffed animal or plastic cup on a chair or table. Stand 10 steps away from the target. Use the cues of overhand throwing to make sure that you are throwing the ball correctly. Count how many times you can hit the target. Let's get started. End of round one. How many times were you able to hit your target? Yeah! It's hammer time. Let's go. Fast feet. Run in place. See how many you can do. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Throwing at a smaller target, round two. Let's try this challenge again to see if you can beat your first score. Don't forget to take 10 steps away from the target. Use the cues of overhand throwing to make sure that you are throwing the ball correctly. Count how many times you are hitting the target. Get ready, here we go. End of round two. Were you able to beat your first score? Yeah! It's hammer time. Front kicks, let's go. To the big show. Simply Throwing at a smaller target, round three. For round three of this challenge, I want you to step back so that you are standing 15 to 20 steps away from the target. We're going to make this one a little bit harder. Use the cues of overhand throwing to make sure that you are throwing the ball correctly. And don't forget to increase your force to make sure the ball gets to your target. Count how many times you can hit the target. 
You got this. End of round three. How did you do on this challenge? Did you think it was harder? <laughs> Last hammer time. Let's make this a good one. Scissor jacks. How many can you do? Keep working on your overhand throwing, try to create some new challenges, keep practicing, and remember, strike them out. Take me out to the ball game, take me out with the crowd.